guys, Steph here. Okay, so yesterday we went on a pen hunt, we had a long day. Um, I started off at 4 o'clock in the morning, I was on the road. Um, we found a few pens, some good, some bad, some ugly. We found some interesting ones, some not so interesting. Some um, I bought just simply for parts, some have got issues. But a lot of them will be available for sale once restored. So let's get straight into them. Let's go to the top there, we've got a Schaefer box. There we go, we've got uh, oh, a lovely Summit fountain pen there, that'll come up very nicely indeed. Um, we've got a Schaefer pen here, with the yeah, stainless steel inlaid nib. Um, oh, there we go, we've got a nice uh, Conway Stewart fountain pen. This one doesn't actually have a, a model number, so I'm not sure what it is, but it's got this sort of nice... Nice sort of chase pattern. Okay, so that's the first three. Okay, we can see this is a a Parker box, as you can see. And if we open it up, ah, there we go. Uh, this is quite a nice one. This is actually a Parker Summit. This is from the the Premier collection, and I believe this gorgeous pattern is what they term as a Chinese Lac Vision fonts. It's very nice indeed. This one's actually got an 18 carat two-tone nib as well, so it's actually top of the range within um, within the Parker Sonnet fountain pen. So a gorgeous pen. Um, what we got here? Let's open it up. It says he. Oh, the other way, Steph. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's an interesting pen. I bought this. I've never heard of them. The Goblin Writing Set. 14 karat gold nib. A reliable bowler product. Never heard of them, but the interesting thing is, like, it's got this very similar sort of candle flame design, and uh, if we unscrew it, look at this. A little button filler. And in my opinion, it doesn't actually even look to have been to have been used. It doesn't look to be inked. It's got a gold nib on it as well. Very interesting. It's got a pencil which is in full working order. So a interesting, interesting pen set. There we go. Another Parker. Let's open this one up. Whoops, a daisy. Let's open it up. Oh dear. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. So another Parker Sonnet. This is um, you can see it's got like a purpley black marbling, um, lovely condition again. So, where are you, Parker Sonnet fans? Anybody interested in sonnets? Give me, give me a shout. Get in contact. There we go, Conway Stewart. Uh, lovely classic black. Um, I think it's there. We go. Look at that nice clear barrel imprint. Conway Stewart. Is it a fifteen? In lovely condition so anybody looking for a nice little Conway Stewart get in touch uh, a Parker box somebody's put 1955 on it oh there we go Parker 51 in teal blue with a luster alloy cap um, I've got lots and lots of Parker 51s so if anybody's looking for a Parker 51 get in touch um, a nice little Parker 45 set fountain pen and it looks like a pencil in burgundy with a sort of chrome chrome cap there. A nice little set. Let's bring these forward. Um, oh this one's actually a quite nice little pen. Look at that. A Schaefer ladies fountain pen comes with two cartridges I think the cartridges are actually because of the age of the pen may have actually dried out but look at that a gorgeous pen okay it's got this uh, stainless steel nib in blue in as I say in gorgeous condition I don't think it's been inked as well so in the original box with two cartridges anybody interested in that Get in touch. Ah, here's an interesting one. Uh, the Notabene Stylograph 
or fluid pencil manufactured by the makers of the Anotto pen Thomas Delarue and Company London okay so let's open that up okay, that comes with the original instructions in gorgeous condition look at that um, in fact I'm not going to show you much of it because uh, I might actually even do do a review on that it's in beautiful condition I think it's just been kept in the box which has kept it in this gorgeous gorgeous condition we may do a uh, a review on that one I think um, yeah another Parker box a little bit tatty um, what we got here another Parker ah a nice Parker 65 okay just needs a little bit of a bit of TLC a little bit of a clean up and that that'll make somebody a gorgeous pen so let's pop that to one side um, oh this is another interesting one that I found look at that Conklin Endura okay so it's a Conklin Endura pencil this ring top in this gorgeous sort of brown and black marbling unfortunately as you can see there the pens missing so let's see if we can find a pen and make a nice set for this pencil okay so that was it so I hope you've been nah <laughs> as always I'm only kidding let's show you the loose pens now but before I show you the loose pens let's give you a little bit of a notification don't forget to subscribe and then you don't miss any of these videos and don't forget people a lot of you forget just below there press that thumbs up symbol give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it okay and don't forget to subscribe so let's show you the loose pens and here we have some loose pens so without further ado let's get straight into it what we got here ah right this is an interesting look at this this is an ever sharp fountain pen okay with an ever sharp nib it's a lever fill fountain pen I believe this one um, is from what they term as the symphony this is a, a, from the symphony range okay with this sort of gold gold cap so it's a never sharp symphony never had one before interesting so that'll be we'll restore that and I'm sure somebody will enjoy it um, we've got a Parker Parker Vacumatic correct nib unfortunately it's got the jewel missing to the end there so we need to find a jewel for this particular pen um, there we go look, a nice interesting this is actually a solid silver solid silver pencil does it work? Uh, sorry it's a ballpoint <laughs> so a nice ballpoint pen in solid silver I'm sure there's people out there that collect them um, oh, look at this a nice uh, a nice Parker nice Parker ballpoint in this lovely lovely pattern anybody interested in uh, Parker ballpoints yes and another Parker 51 so not only have I got lots of 51's I'm actually getting lots more and yes again is that is that the right is that the right cap? I'm not too sure. It may be the wrong cap, but another 51, which looks like a, a 45 cap. I don't know. Um, once again, a park. This one looks like a Parker Junior. Yes, Parker Junior in black. As I said, always beautiful pens, superb everyday writing pens, sturdy. If you're looking for a good pen, give me. Give, well don't give me a call but send me a message there we go a nice Conway Stewart a little bit sort of dirty and sort of tired etc I think this may be in fact if I just bear with me let me have a look for you it's yeah it's a 3388 oh I wonder what that is <laughs> Yes, another pack of 51. Nice condition, just needs a little bit of a bit of a service. Um, 
looks like a let's just show you is it a swan swan leverless okay and the model number on this one is four four two six one so we've got a swan four two six one yeah lovely nib and it's got this little yeah you can hear it crunching inside so it needs a new sack but we'll restore that one because these are very popular pens yeah there we go grey parker 51 nice grey jewel as I said you know I'm quite surprised that I don't get more inquiries for people that are looking for parker 51s because I've got lots of them this one it looks like a mentmore yeah it's a mentmore don't know if you can actually see that that barrel imprint um, is that go not sure if that's a correct nib or not I don't know but we may we may find a correct nib for it great little pen that'll clean up very nicely indeed this looks like a Parker slim fold um, there we go Parker slim fold not my favorite pens but there's people that I'm sure will enjoy will enjoy it um, looks like a little Conway Stewart this is it a dinky again once again we've found quite a few of these lately in this candle flame pattern um, right what have we got here just bear with me a second oh another Mentmore this is a Mentmore diploma in this burgundy colour it's a lever fill fountain pen and as you can see there it has this sort of semi hooded nib quality made pen in lovely condition as it is but we'll just tidy that up and somebody will enjoy that for many years aha right there you go that's all you're seeing on this one because I'll do a review on that pen well I think that might be my first pen that I will uh, restore and clean up right what we got here ah right looks like a victory a lovely Parker victory and this is a a button filler it's the AF or aluminium filler with the original yeah a lovely nib it's actually not in bad condition but we'll just clean it up slightly once again these make quality quality everyday writing pens so if anybody's looking for a Parker victory you know what to do um, yeah another Parker 51 this is the blue diamond um, yeah looks like a vacuumatic so what colour is it? It's sort of a, maybe a brown colour. I think it's a brown pack of vacuumatic. Ah, oh, there we go. There's another Eversharp. Um, what did we say? It was a Symphony. The Eversharp Symphony pen with an Eversharp nib. Again, gorgeous pen. That'll clean up nicely. We'll clean it up and we'll do a review for you. Um, a nice Swamp pen there looks like yeah it's got the correct swan nib lovely green marbling very nice indeed Parker do fold you can see this one's got some slight discoloring to it so yeah I'm not sure what I'll do with it okay and last but not least oh look a Parker 51 yes without the clip but I'm sure we'll do something with that so there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs> no, I've actually got some more for you. Do you want to see them? Let's show you then. And here's some more for you people. Again, in no particular order. Let's go from the front. There we go. A Parker Dufall. Still got the original sort of chalk marks there in blue. So I'm assuming, oh I've just noticed, <laughs> there we go, it's got a great big crack in the cap there. So that's another thing about going on pen hunts is that we actually find lots of pens, we're walking around so quickly trying to find stuff etc that unfortunately we don't get a chance to take a very 
good look at pens and sometimes you've got to just literally yeah you see a pen agree a price buy it and walk away and it's not until we get home that in some cases we find some of the pens which look well you know very quickly they look very good and um, that they have issues so you've got to be a bit careful from the front again there we go Parker 51 in teal blue uh, this lovely little swamp pen here in this sort of wood grain pattern unfortunately no cap has anybody got a cap for this pen if so in fact let's just find out what model it is it's a 230B 230B-61 anyone got a cap for it please let me know there we go, a lovely swan pen. No, sorry, this is actually a blackbird pen in this lovely colour. Um, well, what colour is it? It's a sort of silver, grey, red and black marbling colour. Okay, there we go. It's got a lovely nib on it. It's a lever fill. Again, unfortunately, when I bought it, I thought, yep, that one will come up very nicely. But there we go. I don't know if you can actually see there it's got a crack in the cap so once again when you're buying pens you need to check them very closely um, when you're buying them it doesn't actually affect screw I mean the cap screws on very tightly no problem so yeah I'm not too sure what we'll do with that one um, once again Parker 51 um, this one looks like a swan it's not I don't even know what that particular pen is so <laughs> I don't know uh, Parker 25 ballpoint pen there we go um, to the front once again it's got a Conway Stewart cap um, slight, actually it's a Conway Stewart lever and nib so we're not too sure what what that is it, it doesn't look correct to me because as you can see but we may be able to use it as a parts pen there we go Parker 51 once again um, another Conway Stewart let me just check what model what model this one is it's a 475 little bit of an issue on the lever there so whether that can be rectified um, I don't know uh, correct nib so we'll see, we'll see what we can do with that. There we go, there's a nice uh, pen for somebody. A lovely sort of gold, sort of quite modern Parker ballpoint in beautiful condition. Right, what we got? Another Conway Stewart. As you can see there, the lever's broken on this particular one, so we're going to need to replace the lever. What model is it? It's a number, it's a num looks like a 286, okay, so a Conway Stewart 286 in green marble needs, needs a new lever, another Parker 51, and um, what's this one, yep, looks like a Parker Dufold, and by the size of it, it looks like a standard one, so, uh, Again, these come up, no, it's missing the jewel. They come up absolutely superb. That'll make a great pen for somebody. I think that's just simply just a, an old platinum pen. Yeah. Okay. Another Conway Stewart here. There we go. What's that? 106. You can see lovely clear barrel imprint there. The Conway Stewart 106. It's got this slightly hooded nib. I know there's people out there that like these nibs. Oh, there we go. I've just noticed once again. Look at that. So once again, you've got to check your pens when you're buying them. Because, well, when you pick this up, it looks absolutely lovely. It's actually in lovely condition. But until you get it home and check it, a lot of these pens have an issue. Right, this one, interesting again. Um, what we've got is a Monty... Well, a Mont Blanc, Monte Rosa. I believe the model of this is the 042G uh, fountain pen or gold fountain pen. Uh, the reason being it's got the Monte Rosa nib on it. 
it's a piston filler um, somewhere to the cap band as you can see there but what we'll do we'll service that and it's actually if you look it's just got a slight bend for some reason I don't know why that is but what we'll do we'll service it and for somebody that's looking for yeah an entry level Mont Blanc that'll uh, that'll be used by somebody another pack of 51 in nice conditions got this lovely um, lovely frosted cap sometimes these are actually worn so that'll be nice um, that says Conway Stewart Good. well don't know what that is pass <laughs> another pack of 51 oh blimey I'm going to be collecting these Parker 51s for years to come. Ah, oh, now this is a, a lovely pen. Look at the colour of it. It's sort of blue, black marbling with these, looks like gold, gold veins. And this is actually, I uh, forgot what it was. I know it's a Wyvern. There we go. It's a Wyvern Envoy. It's got the correct Wyvern nib as well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with this one. That'll come up, I'm sure, quite nicely. There we go. A nice Schaefer Tiger with a beautiful, one of my favourite nibs, this inlaid nib there. Anybody looking for a Schaefer Tiger, why not get in touch? Another Conway Stewart. Uh, this one, let me have a look again. Oh, 85L, alright, so the 85 is a model and the L tells us that it's a, the long version. These are lovely pens, once it's restored that will come up absolutely stunning. Um, is this another Wyvern? Yes, yeah, another Wyvern. And this particular time it's got the Wyvern Dragon on the barrel as you can see there. Does it have the wyvern nib? Oh, it's actually the sort of semi-hooded nib there, as you can see. But these are nice pens. Great everyday writers. That'll come up nicely. There we go. A nice Burnham pen in these. It's a lovely pattern, like grey and brown, marbling with black, black streaks. I think this is the, is it the 56? Uh, let me have a look. Yep, the this is the sorry not Wyvern, the Burnham 56. These always have slightly smaller nibs, but a beautiful pen. Some will enjoy that one. Um, yeah, Parker is it a ladies 17 or something like that in green. Another little dinky in burgundy missing the clip. Um, this one. To be honest with you, there's no markings on it. I'm not even too sure what it is. You can see slightly discoloured or faded. Hmm, we'll see. That one is, we'll see. <laughs> ah, there we go. A nice Anotto 5601. Yep, with the original nib. It's a plunger filler, which unfortunately doesn't work so we'll give this a good service very popular pens that that'll be serviced and some will enjoy it another Burnham unfortunately without the cap yeah 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 oh, another pack of 51 <laughs> <coughs> um, right, this one actually it's just bear with me a second this one's I was looking at this one. It's actually a WS Hicks. So it's a WA, WS Hicks New York stylograph or pencil. Okay, so there we go. And the WH, sorry, I forgot who said Hicks. I believe these are actually very, very old. So this might actually be early 1900 maybe even late 1800s it's actually in quite nice condition for the age 
So anybody's uh, collects stylograph pencils. And if I reach over here, okay, we've got a little bag with a with a couple of pens. These are the last ones. So let's see what we've got. Um, ah, this one's uh, interesting. Let's show you the barrel imprint. Um, this one is a 4290 JS Stedler Mars fountain pen. Okay, it's got a lovely nib on it. It's got the correct Mars nib on it. It looks like it's a plunger or a piston filler. I'll try and restore that one. It's actually it's actually quite a nice chunky pen, but Stedler, um, they're still sort of going. They do a lot of pencils, I know, but a very interesting pen. I will take a look into that one. Yeah, there's another interesting pen. This one, if I show you, is actually a Selsden fountain pen made in England. Okay, it's got a gold warranted nib, it's a lever fill, just needs a little bit of attention. So, quite interesting, it's got this lovely sort of Greek style cap band there, very nice indeed. Um, oh, look at these two here together. These are actually, let me just have a look. Uh, yep, so we've got two Conway Stewart 12s. In beautiful you know they don't actually need anything doing to them I'll just check whether you know they've actually got you know sacks in them but these are in beautiful condition as they are so what we'll do we'll check the sacks put new sacks anybody looking for a gorgeous Conway Stewart number 12 get in touch um, this one is a I think this is a Conway Again, a gorgeous pen, a Conway 15, with with correct nib. Once again, gorgeous. This one's slightly, sort of, quite a slightly bigger pen than the other two, but a gorgeous blue marbling Conway. A brown Parker Dufold, and this one is, yep, it's an aluminium filler. So... A lovely brown Parker Dufour, once again superb everyday writing pens. And I think last but not least we've got yeah another Parker Dufour. This is a standard, but this one is the the aerometric filler. Superb. Once they're restored, clean, etc. These will last you many, many years. So that's it ladies and gentlemen that's the find or the pen haul from yesterday don't forget um you know if there's anything that you may be interested get in touch some of them are going to be just simply parts some of them i may review like the pack of 51s i've done you lots of reviews on the 51 so i doubt i'll actually review them unless there's something special about the pen but most of them um yeah some of it will be used for parts some of them are going to be restored and the majority are going to become available so if you're interested be quick because there's people out there that are watching this video and I'm sure they'll be on the on the keyboard already asking me is that particular pen available Steph <laughs> don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below don't be shy and as I said earlier give the video a thumbs up but from me and all these pens that are going to keep me busy going into Christmas no doubt I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini and from me I'm just going to say bye bye for now